This session demonstrates how to build regression and classification models using KXEN's Infinite Insight Modeler. What are predictive analytics? The general field of analytics can be divided into data analytics and predictive analytics. Data analytics involves the aggregation of past performance and current trends through reporting systems and BI tools. Infinite Insight is a predictive analytics package, as are tools such as SAS and SPSS. But the similarity ends there. Infinite Insight is designed as a statistical data mining tool. Infinite Insight's component algorithms are integrated and optimized for efficient processing of big data, whereas other stat packages are libraries of algorithms developed by various contributors focused on maximum likelihood estimation metrics and requiring highly trained analyst programmers. Infinite Insight builds models very fast, allowing analysts to leverage their expertise in understanding relationships and tuning models, rather than tedious data prep and variable screening. Let's take a look at what happens when you employ traditional STAT techniques. The first step is to reduce the number of variables from hundreds available in your data warehouse to about 30 to 50 that a traditional modeling tool can handle. The next step is to prepare the data for modeling. This is where the expert spends 60% or more of his time. Converting data, outliers must be discarded, missing values have to be replaced, and much more. Then the statistician builds and tests several alternative models, often repeating previous steps. Three weeks for this process is considered to be aggressive. The average cost per model can be up to $100,000, which accounts for the time of the analyst, system use, and the cost of software tools. KXEN proposes to shrink this process to hours or minutes at much lower cost per model, enabling many more models to be constructed. This is accomplished through a patented application of structural risk minimization. Infinite Insight's speed is due to application of SRM, which automates data prep, variable encoding, variable screening, and model validation. And since Infinite Insight's robust regression procedure is unaffected by collinearity issues, adding as many variables as possible is encouraged. Structural risk minimization is a statistical optimization principle, an alternative to traditional maximum likelihood estimation. If you would like to learn more, feel free to do a little internet research of these topics. KXEN's application of SRM is a patented process and the only major commercial statistics package applying SRM. We are going to apply Infinite Insights Classification Regression Module to solve a business problem. The class of regression and classification algorithms are statistical techniques for analyzing the relationship between a target or dependent variable and a set of predictor or independent variables. A mathematical equation is constructed depicting how the target varies systematically with values of the predictors. Regression analysis describes the relationship between a continuous target variable and a set of predictors. Classification models also examine the relationship between a target and a set of predictors. But classification models contain a qualitative binary target such as true, false, or respond, not respond. Now that we are familiar with the difference between regression and classification, can you tell me which analysis is called for when predicting sales revenue based on product and merchandising characteristics? Correct. It's regression analysis because it describes a single target sales revenue along with a set of predictors. The target is a continuous variable. What about the second application? This is a classification analysis example because the target variable defines just two groups, cell phone churners and non-churners. A car retailer is interested in marketing its mid-sized sedans to individuals earning over $50,000 per year. Using demographic attributes from a sample of 48,842 area residents, we're going to construct a classification model predicting whether or not someone is likely to earn over $50,000. This model can then be applied to the local population and to other dealerships to limit the potential number of direct mail pieces needed. Let's go to the Infinite Insight framework. Infinite Insight's opening screen lists the components available under your license. 
Each screen in the graphical user interface contains a button to access help and to provide additional explanation. We select Create a new classification regression. The first step is to identify a data set from which to construct our model. As you can see, Infinite Insight can build a model directly from most file types and data formats. Ours is a common delimited text file. The data set we are using, Census 1, is found in the samples directory that was loaded onto your system with the KXEN license. Let's view the data. You can see that this data set contains numeric, categorical, and text data. It also has missing values and outliers. From this screen, you can also choose from several automated and custom cutting strategies. Cutting strategies split the data into a training sample for model building and a validation sample to test candidate models. Step two is to accurately describe the data type of each column in your data. Pressing the Analyze button tells Infinite Insight to make an educated guess of the data type based on the first 100 records, but sometimes this definition needs to be revised by the analyst. Selecting the data storage type and the value are easy, just a mouse click. After you're satisfied with the definition of each variable, you can save these metadata definitions in a table or write them to a variable pool or metadata repository for application to new files containing some of these variables. I'm going to use a saved description that was stored as a text file. After your descriptions are saved, click Next. The third step is to select the fields to include in your analysis. Perhaps there are some fields, such as customer name or phone number, that are not appropriate model variables. These can be moved or dragged into the excluded variables box. You define your target variable here. For classification analyses, this must be a nominal variable with just two outcomes. For a regression analysis, the target must be a continuous variable. Our variable, class, is a nominal variable with a value of 1 if income is greater than $50,000. You can specify multiple targets here, and Infinite Insight will construct an independent model for each target. Frequently, analysts wish to predict both response and revenue with separate models. Infinite Insight can easily construct both simultaneously. Step 4 is an important model summary screen. From here, you can specify some advanced options, such as higher degree polynomial models. Infinite Insight automatically transforms your raw fields into several encodings as statistical variables. In fact, Infinite Insight will ultimately input more candidate predictor variables than the number of fields in your original data set. All data prep, variable encoding, missing value, and outlier handling is accomplished automatically, saving days or weeks of effort. Variable screening, or initial variable selection, identifies all potential contributors to predicting the target. You can proceed directly from this screening to examine correlations and variable relationships. Click Generate to build your classification model. Infinite Insight is optimized as a data mining tool. It processes data very quickly, building models faster than you would think possible, and it is based on non-parametric robust regression algorithms that are immune from correlation issues. This data set contains just 48,800 rows and 16 columns. Your data could be many times larger. That's okay. Infinite Insight is completely scalable. Many users build models on millions of rows and thousands of fields. Our model took just seconds for data prep, variable screening, handling missing values and outliers, building and evaluating alternative models, and validating a champion. Infinite Insight relies on two key metrics, KI and KR. KI measures model quality and accuracy, 
while KR simultaneously measures model robustness to new data. We optimize the sum of these two metrics. Click on the Help button for a deeper explanation of KI and KR. Our final model, after just three iterations of variable elimination, ends with seven variables in the champion validated model. The next step is to review your model, its variables, and its prediction accuracy. Many graphs and tables are available for review. Based on our review, we may want to tune the model by replacing or eliminating some variables based on business concerns or expectations. Let's look at just one of the many diagnostic reports available in Infinite Insight. Contributions by Variables. This report lists the seven final model variables in order of their importance in predicting the target. Education and marital status are two of the most significant variables. Click on any bar in this chart to see how each value of that variable contributes to the prediction. For example, married prospects are more likely to earn greater than $50,000 per year, while prospects never married or separated are least likely to earn over $50,000. This, as well as all Infinite Insight reports, can be printed, copied, or exported directly to Excel. The final step is model deployment. Infinite Insight offers three methods to suit your needs. Apply model appends predicted scores and probabilities to a file that you input. Generate source code outputs the model code to generate scores within your database. There is no moving data to an external data mart and converting to a proprietary stat format. When scoring millions of records frequently, moving data can consume most of your processing resources. Many database SQL formats and languages are supported, such as Teradata SQL, Java, SAS, and PMML. A highly customizable deployment is also available. Through Export KX Shell script, you can output the scoring code and all model settings in a callable script with parameters that can be edited through simple macro code. For example, if you wish to construct a model for each retail location, you can script Infinite Insight to input each store location and its accompanying data file and automatically build a unique model for each store. Deploying a model completes the technical part. Now, how will that model be used? With just one click, Infinite Insight provides an executive summary of results, instantaneously exported to PowerPoint. Infinite Insight doesn't end with technical model statistics. This executive summary is exported to PowerPoint with a single mouse click. It contains a statistical summary of model quality, descriptions of the target population, and optimum values of the most significant predictors. From this information, targeting recommendations as well as optimum solicitation quantities can be determined. Additional reports provide even greater detail, including total estimated profit from soliciting any prospect quantity. We merely touched on some of the features of Infinite Insight and built a classification model in seconds. For additional features and greater depth of explanation, there is a complete set of KXEN documentation available. Find the path where KXEN has been installed on your system and click on KXEN Documentation. User guides and technical specifications are provided. Check out the KXAF User Guide for detailed information on regression and classification modeling using Infinite Insight. If you want to learn more, please visit our website www.kxen.com 